Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to episode 10 of Endless Legend. We're playing as the Voltus. Now I am playing this game on the easy difficulty level. The main reason for that is this is my very first game. I did play a little bit during the uh, alpha and beta testing but I never really got very far with it so I mainly just wanted to play it on the easy difficulty level just to try and get to grips with the mechanics and find out what was going on. I have read through the manual. Um, it's not as complex as a lot of strategy games like Civilization 5 and stuff like that. However, there are a few mechanics that either aren't mentioned in the manual at all or just, you know, aren't explained all that well. So, I'm taking this opportunity to basically just try and work out what is going on. I'm not even sure what type of victory we are going to go for at the moment. I'm certainly um, ahead on score. Uh, I think we're going to try and go for a science victory, but I'm not too sure how well that is going to work. Uh, we currently don't have a booster going at the moment. We could keep using some of our um, titanium, which would give us an extra 20% science on our cities for 10 turns. Or we could use the glass steel, which would give us plus 20% additional dust. That might not be too bad an idea, and we do have quite a bit of glass steel. So let's go ahead and activate that. So that is one of the things that we can do as the vaulters, is we can actually use our uh, resources to give us various little um, bonuses for X number of turns. It also means we can actually um, teleport our armies around as well, uh, but we must be on one of our um, city centres in a in order to do that. So what's going on next? What were we actually uh, doing? Our army isn't really moving at the moment. We could explore north and start going into um, enemy territory. Now we do have a quest which is to capture the city of. Um, uh, Howard which I'm which is going to be up here somewhere so that's going to be an interesting one because that means we have to um, we have to go over here into our enemies uh, area this could be quite interesting especially as they do have a little army down here towards us and I don't think we actually have open borders with them either just going to have a very quick look in the quest log and I believe that is the only quest we actually have at the moment and it is actually our faction quest so we must go ahead and do i mean we don't have to complete the faction quest lines that is the point faction quests are only really um if you want to go for the wonder victory but we would like to try and see some of the faction quests here so what i may end up doing before going in here and trying to deal with these guys is actually moving down a little bit and dealing with this army here because i prefer to be able to uh, take those guys out and not have to deal with them sieging my capital out so i'm going to start moving back down towards them at this point let's just end the turn and then after we've dealt with them, we'll consider going back up there and dealing with the city. Right, they are moving through my uh, territory. Not even necessarily sure that we can declare war on them at the moment. Uh, we don't have a lot else going on right now. We're still making some money, quite a bit of money actually, which is going to be very useful to us. We might want to build another settler. And consider settling another city down to the south or the southeast. Okay, you are moving a little bit, but you're moving slowly. Not too sure where you're going and why. Let's have a look what we've got. Um, our hero can actually uh, level up. So what could we go for here? What could be useful? Um, able to stand as still as stone, the hero can teach the range units of his or her army to fire their weapons without... Um, with unerring accuracy, improving their range. So, okay, so plus one range in battle on ranged units. That could be quite useful. Um, I don't think... Oh, we can go straight to that, of course, because we already have staggered bows open. Siege mentality. We're not really sieging at the moment, though I do feel that is something we will be doing later. Uh, additional XP on the hero could be useful. But I quite like... Um, Increasing the range of ranged units that sounds very very useful to me at the moment because we do have quite a few ranged units in our armies um, Construction has been completed of a couple of places. We do have another settler now, which is nice now Where is that settler? Where were we going to take it? Which one of these places would be better for us probably I'm assuming Salamont because we do kind of have this area 
sort of segregate it. So I think we should be going into um, uh, Selamont here. So we are going to find out where our settler is because I can't remember which city it was in. And it's this one here. So new army. Let's create that settler. Now we can have actually six units in our army at the moment. So I'm going to stack up on top of that settler. Which is in which tile exactly? You're in that tile. So let's move on to the city. So at least now we have our settler in a tile. We're going to move over into this region. And we're going to attempt to found a city over here. See if we can find a good spot for it. Would like to take this roaming army out, but we'll have to see how that goes. Right, they've just actually reduced their numbers. Do they have a settler? That's very strange. Right, that is the area that I want to be in. Yes, it definitely is. We do have some Palladian here, which would be nice to get. There's also some Titanium. We've already got the Ruins. There is some uh, Gelderus here as well. And uh, there is also a Gold Deposit. More Glass Steel. Uh, so there's quite a lot of nice resources in this particular area. Let's have a look and see what would be a good position to settle in terms of the resources. I'm actually tempted to try and keep the city quite close to my capital because that would make it easier to defend. It would be nice to get some science. We could go here next to the river. We could actually go on the river. Uh, we get some science from some of these tundra tiles, which would be quite nice. And we can certainly expand out in this direction if we please. It would also be nice putting us here on the edge of the high ground, potentially. We don't want to go there because we're going to be losing out a few uh, tiles. Well, actually, yes, we'd be losing out on one tile. But putting the city here could actually be quite useful. It's going to take us a little while to get there because we do have to walk the long way around. So let's end the turn. I'm really hoping this guy doesn't come and settle here. And if he does, we'll certainly have to go and deal with that issue. Um, no more research in the research queue. Um, these guys are scared of us. Okay, that's fine. Now, apparently, if you do pick research in the lower tiers, it still counts towards, towards unlocking the higher tiers. So once you've unlocked research era 2, you don't have to keep spending points in research era 2 in order to unlock research era 3 and so on so one thing i should look at is um any of these circles that have the yellow banding at the top and bottom means it's something that is uh, unique to my particular civilization and they are often very worth picking up so for example we have the deep generators here and deep generators is uh, quite nice and it um, is uh, it's one of our special things that basically allows us to save up certain things like additional production and food and dust and science. And we can actually save that up and move it from city to city. Um, we probably don't really need one of those just yet. We're not in a terrible spot, though it is something that I would certainly consider doing later on. Imperial Highways creates roads used by trade routes. I don't think we even have any trade routes yet. And um, does certainly help with, uh, with watchtowers as well. So it could be useful getting that. And we do need extra sciences. So it is worth doing so. Uh, just having a quick look up here and see what we can get. Strength of the Vault. Extra fortification on cities. That's quite nice to have. Uh, also, moving into the uh, weapons, we could upgrade our weapons, but again, not something that I necessarily need to do right away. 25% uh, less expansion disapproval on cities. That would be very, very useful. I think we should definitely uh, look into researching that, so let's go into that for our next thing. Um, research has led to a new discovery. That's fine. So, dust depository. So that gives us plus four extra dust on each city, if we build it, of course, that is. So we want to um, go ahead and complete the movement we were going to make. Which is settling a new city here, which is absolutely fantastic. Now one of the first things we are going to want to do is see if we've got anything that will help us with some happiness. So let's go ahead and get the sewer system up and running here. Right, see the Empire approval value in total is 86%, which isn't all that bad. Now, where did that guy's 
army go, is the question. Uh, we're now looking through cities, which is not what I want to do. I want to find my army. My empire is already so big that I'm currently getting lost. Right, he's up there. Still don't think I can actually imminently attack them. Because I think we are technically still friendly. Now, how much would it cost me to declare war on him? I'm amazed I can't diplomacy from there, which is a little bit weird. Um, diplomatic relations, right? It's this guy here. Now, what we could do with you, we could make a declaration of war. Would cost us 66 influence. I think we probably will do that. However, we might as well wait until we've moved closer to him. So, let us consider doing that. So, we've moved our army about as far as we can. Let us... The minor faction Geldirus is ready to be assimilated into your empire. Not too sure that we can actually assimilate any other factions at the moment either. Because there is a limit to the number that we can do. So we're going to end the turn there. Let's see how far that army's going to go off. I was a little worried that he was going to come here and attempt to try and settle a city near me. But he hasn't. Now I could potentially attack it this turn. Right, these are all actually rumblers. So I think we should just attack him. Now, this is not the... He must have moved his hero away. That's why it must have shrank. He must have had his hero unit with it, which he has now removed. So we are going to go ahead and do this fight. Now, we certainly want to have our Titan up towards the front. And we want our Dawn Officers to be able to charge in. And then we want all of our ranged, as much as possible, to be relatively close to the back. It's a little bit strange because we don't have the high ground here, which isn't going to help us a great deal. But I think all in all, things aren't going to be too bad. You guys are support, so you may as well just... You are Infantry Slayer. You may as well go closer to the front. And um, no, because you're just going to be getting in, in the way of the Dawn Guard there. I think everyone should be okay in that position. So let's ready up. And the split seems fair enough. So let's go on automated. So the Dawn Guard are going to charge in. Okay, so they did a bit of a hit. Next comes in our hero. She's going to fire. She does quite a lot of damage at the moment. Although she's firing at the guy at the back. But there's a lot of his health gone. Now our um, marines are firing. That one at the back is very nearly dead. These marines firing at the one at the front. Our titan goes last because he's slow and doesn't have an awful lot of initiative. Didn't do a massive amount of damage. This guy's going to start coming in now. Probably picking on my um, justy cars or whatever they're called. Right, you're beating on my titan. You're going to come in and beat on my um, dawn guard, which isn't ideal. So, what do we do here? I think we'll just carry on with the uh, with the pattern as before. The Dawn officers are going to go in and attack that guy. It does, does do a lot of AoE damage, which is a little bit annoying. You are going... No, you're taking a shot from my hero, which should be enough to kill him out, right? Yep, brilliant. That's fine. The um, Justiceers are moving up. Keep calling them Justicars, but they're Justiceers. So, they've moved up. They've done a little bit of damage. Marines now firing at the one that is on full health. And those marines finishing off that one. Right, they're now down to one unit. In comes the titan. He's going to take a bit of a hit. Doesn't do an awful lot of damage back. But of course that guy has used his movement. So he can't counter on this turn. He can counter now of course. Luckily his damage gets split quite nicely. He doesn't do enough to kill me. Which means the rest of my unit should be able to take him out. Before he can retaliate again. Especially now I've just taken 100 of his health away. With my hero. Hopefully my um, marines can get in range. And that's it. He's dead. Brilliant. So we have managed to sort out one of their armies. A little bit concerned about where he moved his hero to. Uh, that could well mean that he... Has another army wandering around, which would make sense because they were all rumblers. It wasn't like it was a proper uh, proper army, really. Uh, or we could have moved his hero into a 
into one of his cities. Yeah, he's got another army up there, and that's where his heroes look. The first Boar Warriors. So that's going to be his main army there. So we're going to have to move up in that direction. We are going to need to heal up a little bit as well as we go. It would be nice if we could get an additional unit in there. I'm not sure what we'd necessarily like to have. Possibly another Dawn Officer. Possibly... Uh, another titan although the titans haven't been all that great so far but it would be nice to have a bit of a um defensive wall so we could get another titan and we could bump that titan up towards the top uh, we don't actually have enough dust because that's amazingly expensive um but let's finish off glory of the empire and then we can get that Titan building. We don't appear to have a turn limit for the quest that we've been given. So I'm not worried too much about that right now. How did it actually affect us in terms of our diplomacy though? That's one thing I am interested to learn. Are you going to come over here and start sieging my city now? Did it automatically put us at war? I don't think that it did. Uh, where are we? Diplomacy. No, we're, all, we're still actually at Cold War. Which is why I was able to attack his unit. So we're not at peace with him. That's fine. That is okay. So what I could do, and what I will do, is I will start moving my army towards him. Because we will need to go and attack him as soon as we can. So let's move on up. So we've completed Glory of the Empire. We're now working on a Titan. And Salamont has grown to population too. That was nice and quick. So let's go and have a look down here and see what we are working. So we've got a fair amount of food coming in. Four turns until we grow. I think I'd like to have maybe one extra person in production. Though. It only puts our growth up to five turns. But I think that helps things out quite nicely. So let's leave that as it is. So, let us end the turn. We're still making quite a decent amount of science, which is really going to help us. We may still get this science victory and may do it quite easily. Now, I did say in a couple of videos that I have heard that the AI is actually quite bad. Now, someone did point out that I am playing on easy and I shouldn't expect too much of a challenge from the AI, which is true. But I have spoken to a lot of people who said that, in general, the AI is pretty bad. And this is something that Endless Space suffered with initially as well. But they did patch it out, so it wasn't all that bad. This empire is our friend as well. Perhaps you'll be kinder to them than you were to us. So I'm not really too bothered about this guy. We are going to have to go and attack him at some point anyway. So let's continue to move our army forward. I was wait, uh, rather hoping that we could get this titan built nice and quickly. And he could come out here and join the army. In fact, let's just have a quick look. Uh, it would be 856 dust in order to speed him up. So we're not really going to be able to do that realistically. So we're not going to even bother trying. I could do a little bit more management on these cities and just try and get um, more production. But I don't think there's a lot of need for that right away. Um, yeah, he's moving away a little bit now. Got another construction completed. So we've done Glory of the Empire in Talillion. Uh, Selamont has finished its sewer system. We need to queue something else up here. Uh, what we should probably do... Glory of the Empire, again, could be useful, but we don't really need it. What would be nice is the central market, which would give us um, a bit more happiness as well. Nine turns, though, quite a long way away. Uh, we could go ahead and get some... Mm, I don't know. What do we need, really? Still don't think we have any trade routes yet, either. We need to have a look at that. Um, central market we will probably get. Let's go ahead and get the central market. Let's have a look at our capital as well. Yeah, we don't have any trade routes here. We could possibly... Can we set up a trade route? I mean, we're friendly with these guys. Yeah, we don't seem to have any way of setting trade routes up. I'm not 100% sure how trade routes work and how exactly we do set them up. Though I'm sure we will find out at some point. So now we have construction queued. So that's not a problem. Two turns away from finishing our research. The act of aggression is um, unforgivable. That's fine. I'm gonna, I intend to be more than aggressive in a moment as soon as I... Um, Get my army a little bit closer to yours. Did 
Doesn't look like Talillion is building anything at the moment. That's because it's just finished the Geomic Labs. That is fine. Uh, we could do some Burrow Streets here, which could be quite useful. Or we could get a Lookout Tower. It's only four turns away, so let's get a Lookout Tower probably in this direction would be more useful right now. So let's go ahead and get that done. My army, you have used all of your movement. Can't see where his army has gone, but we do need to go over there and attempt to take that city, which is something that I will attempt to do. Okay, so what have we got going on here? Has the turn ended? Obviously, there is a little bit of simultaneous turns going on because the AI does still move his units around. Population of uh, Morris has grown to 10. That's actually quite nice. Now, where is that city? Can't remember what the names are, where they all are. It's this one here. Okay, so. Actually got quite a good spread there. 14 turns until you grow again. We could put one more person into science, maybe. That certainly helps with the research side of things. Uh, effect of one or more of your research boosters has ended. Uh, certainly still got the spare glass steel, so I'm going to reactivate that one. Because that's going to help out. And then I think before we do anything else as well, I think what we're actually going to do is end the video here. And then when we come back, we'll continue trying to build up our empire and hopefully get into this guy's city and see if we can take it out. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.